Hello, this video is about Newton's second law of motion, one of the most important rules of nature. Let's take a step backward and start from Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion or law of inertia states that an object continues in a state of rest or in a uniform rectilinear motion unless a net force acts on it. Mathematically, it is expressed as the sum of forces equal to zero. Consider the cart that rests on the floor. No forces act on the cart along the horizontal line, so it doesn't move horizontally. On the vertical line, the weight of the cart and the normal reaction of support balance each other's, and the cart stays at rest. The boy applies a pushing force on the cart. When the boy is no longer pushing it, the cart moves at a constant velocity as long as no net force acts on it. How would the cart behave if the sum of forces acting on it is not zero, more specifically if the sum of forces is equal to a constant? The car accelerates. Acceleration is the change of velocity with respect to time. This change can appear in three ways. The magnitude of the velocity could increase or decrease, and the direction of velocity might change. What are the factors affecting the magnitude and the direction of the acceleration? Push on an empty shopping cart, then push equally hard on a heavily loaded shopping cart. The loaded cart will accelerate less than the empty one. This shows that the acceleration depends on the mass being pushed. The acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass. For the same force, the acceleration decreases as the mass increases. The acceleration also depends on the net force. In the second case, the boy applies more force on the same loaded shopping cart, so it accelerates more. The acceleration is proportional to the magnitude of the net force. For the same mass, the acceleration increases as the net force increases. Newton was the first to realize that the acceleration produced depends not only on how hard we push or pull an object, but also on the object's mass. Acceleration equals sum of forces over mass. We can arrange Newton's second law to sum of forces equal mass times acceleration. Note that the net force acting on an object and the resulting acceleration are always in the same direction. Newton's second law of motion is expressed by sum of forces equal mass times acceleration. The acceleration produced by a net force on an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Let's take some numerical values. The shopping cart has a mass of 15 kilograms. The boy applies a constant force of magnitude 12 newtons to the right. The force of friction is of magnitude 3 newtons opposing the applied force. To find the value of the acceleration, we apply Newton's second law. A equals sum of forces over M. The forces acting on the cart are the applied force F, the frictional force, the weight W vertically downwards, and the normal reaction of support N vertically upwards. The sum of forces is the applied force F, the force of friction, plus W plus N. Since the motion of the cart is along the horizontal line, we project along the x-axis. Take the positive x-axis to the right like the direction of motion. The projection of the applied force is plus F because it is with the direction of motion, and the projection of the frictional force is minus FF because it is opposite to the direction of motion. Both the weight and the normal reaction of support have zero projection on the x-axis because they are along the y-axis. So A equal F minus FF plus 0 plus 0 divided by M. Substituting the values of the forces and the mass, we find the value of the acceleration. The acceleration of the cart is 0 0.6 meters per second square. In this video, we learn Newton's second law of motion, sum of forces equal mass times acceleration.